Hello and welcome to day 11 of our 30 days to an elevated mindset. I'm coach Michael P and excited to be here with you today. So we started talking this week about a concept known as perception is projection, which basically means what we are seeing in the world is what we are projecting out into the world. We create our own reality. And we do this through how we take in and filter information. We talked about that every second we get 1.3 billion bits of data and our conscious brain's only able to process, um, I mean, what it was 128 bits of data per second. So there's a lot of data that doesn't get into our consciousness. And the way this happens is through filters and our filters are based on our values and beliefs. So the example I've been using all along, if we believe making money is hard, it takes a lot of work and um, money's the root of all evil, then we're going to filter out the information that does not support that belief and only allow in the information that does support that belief. So one of the ways, or actually two ways, that we do this is through focus and perspective. And so this is something that is going to be very specific that you can use to look at how you are experiencing the world. So focus, right? What are you focused on? If you're watching the news or you're online, let's say, looking through Facebook, what draws your attention? Where does your focus go? Do you go to you know, things that can get you, hold on, my dog is whining, he wants to go out and play with his friends, lucky, go lay down, go lay down. So what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on those things that maybe get your blood boiling and, you know, just really churn the emotions in you? This is how it used to be for me. I mean, I would be on Facebook and like all of the political things that would come across my feed you know, that would just really enrage me. I can't believe people are doing this. That is where my focus was. And so that is what I was seeing and that is what I was experiencing and that is what I was projecting into the world. And then, you know, this was like eight or 10 years ago, I got off Facebook completely and just recently have come back on just for business. And when I got off Facebook, it changed because I changed my focus. I wasn't focusing on those things anymore. So focus where you are directing your energy, right? Where are you focused? When you walk into a room, let's say, like the, one of the things I've talked about before is leaving the cap off the toothpaste and how this can frustrate people and upset people and, you know, it, we talked about this in relationship to the presenting problem, the cap off the toothpaste, the core problem, which is much deeper, which may be that, you know, you're not feeling respected by the other people in your household who would agree to not leave the cap off the toothpaste. So when you walk in the bathroom, do you see the cap off the toothpaste? Like, is that where your focus goes? Is that the first thing you look at? So just be aware as you move forward, where is your focus? What are the things that you are focused on? Now, it may be that you've got beliefs and values that are causing you to focus that, and it may require some shifting there in your belief and your value to be able to shift your focus. But if you're aware of what you're focused on, like I was with the political stuff on Facebook, I was able to make a very quick change and feel the impact and the results of that change. Perspective is how you look at something. And, you know, this is the old concept, right? Look at it from someone else's perspective. So you're looking at the same thing. You're not changing your focus. Your focus is on the same thing, but you're just viewing it from a different angle. What's another way to look at that? What's another way to come at that? You know, I've been in situations with people where I've been very frustrated and uh, feel like they are doing or saying or acting in a way that I don't like and I create a story as to what's behind that and why they're doing that and what their intention is 
And then later I have a conversation with them and find out I was completely wrong. So I was looking at it from one perspective and then as I talk to them, find out there's a completely different perspective that I could see and I could see their viewpoint and why they were feeling and acting the way they were. So as you go through, you know, your day, just be aware, where is your focus? Where are you putting your attention? And on those things you put your attention, is there another perspective? Is there another way that you can look at it? This is one of the things that coaches do, you know, I think most consistently is helping people see things from a different perspective or sometimes even trying to change their, their focus altogether. All right, today's daily practice, acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge yourself for something you've done. So I just completed today's video. I acknowledge myself for that. Uh, so, you know, it can be big things. It can be small things. All right, that's it for today. See you again tomorrow with one of my favorite topics, context versus content. Have an awesome day. See you later.